Hello, I'm Richard with EV for You Custom Conversions. And welcome to another episode. This is the first part of September on a hot, smoky day in Shasta County. Well, what's been happening with the uh, Mercedes 230SL conversion? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's what we're going to do today. We're going to give you a little update on uh, the progress of this conversion. determined where everything will be mounted and located and most things have been mounted, test fit, clearances checked, all of that. Uh, we did have to redesign a couple things uh, like the radiator system we had originally intended on using wouldn't fit uh, once we had our final measurements. This has been a very tight conversion. Uh, if I was doing this for myself, I would have gone with a smaller battery pack and the tight clearances would not have been an issue. But the customer wanted uh, the range and uh, we needed to go with the larger battery pack and so things are tight. Uh, the other thing that caused the, an issue is this is a small engine bay and we wanted to maintain the weight bias. And so even though we have a pretty large trunk, we can't just fill that with batteries or we'd have uh, handling issues. And so we had to you know, split that weight front to rear with the majority of it in the front because that's the way the car sprung from the factory to have the bulk of the weight in the front. So anyway, uh, volumetrically it became an issue. So where we are in the uh, procedure here, the sequence of things, is the back battery rack is installed but not mounted. The mounting hasn't been completed. Uh, we also have to mount the battery charge in the back. We know exactly where it's going to go now that the final determination on the rear pack size was established once the front one was established. And then we also have the charge port, which is also in the rear where the original gas filler was. All that uh, still needs work. Um, as well as the uh, ABS inserts, both front and rear uh, battery racks, uh, still need that work. So let's grab the camera and do a close up of what we've got going. Uh, and what the current status is. All right, viewing from the front here, we're going to uh, just go over what components are where, how this is set up. As we showed you before, we have the front battery rack in place. There's three sections uh, holding eight cells each. These are 
CALB cells, 180 amp per hour cells. So there's 24 there. And then underneath, uh, just underneath the controllers here, there's another six. So a total of 30 in the front, 20 in the rear. Now in front here, we have uh, our, our radiators and uh, fans and not installed, but down below over here in that area will be our pumps. Now there's gonna be a dual system. So each controller will have its uh, own radiator pump and uh, reservoir. The reservoirs are right here. They're designed to be able to, to swing up for filling and for uh, you know getting the air out of the system. And then they will normally ride in this position and only need to be moved um, if you saw an issue. Uh, there'll be clear lines so you'll know that there's fluid in the line. If you were to see air or something, you may want to inspect the system. We also in the back here, this is the firewall. We have our, our uh, main disconnect. We have uh, our 12 volt fuse block, our power relay. This is our 12 volt uh, bus bar. That's all of our unswitched 12 volts coming directly from the battery right there. We've got uh, two fuses here, one for each controller. We also have two contactors. These things are just sitting in there right now. Uh, again, dual contactors, one for each um, controller. These will be the pre-charge relays. We've got a terminal strip here, and we have a terminal strip on the side over here that will accommodate all of our 12-volt wiring. In the corner in the location where it was when we received the vehicle is the 12 volt battery. On top of the front battery rack will be the controllers. Of course underneath is our motor. We showed you that in previous videos. And then we have our power steering, our vacuum pump, our vacuum reservoir, the throttle. And it attaches to the stock throttle cable. So now, once we've established the location of all the components, uh, the fitment, uh, the routing of, uh, you know, plumbing, wiring, so forth. For instance, yeah, you know, you got radiators that need to be plumbed. We have our chill plates for each of our um, controllers. Like I said, we're gonna have two separate systems. We have vacuum lines that have to be run, hydraulic lines that have to be run, and then of course all of your wiring, both 12 volt and traction pack wiring. So all that has to be. Uh, taken into consideration to make sure that you have room to route everything, things uh, aren't interfering with one another, so forth. So we're at the point where all of that's been determined. We are now ready to remove everything. Everything's going to be removed, um, except for those things which are bolted uh, to the vehicle itself. So for instance, uh, our vacuum reservoir will stay, our 12 volt battery stays, our uh, component board over here will stay, um, but the reservoirs are removed, our switch is removed, the controllers come out, the fans and radiator come out, and the battery rack will come out, the motor comes out, so forth. And so so we're at that point now where all these things will come out, they're cleaned, they're painted. Um, currently the flywheel and clutch are being dynamically balanced. Hopefully get that in this week. And so then we can start, once all that work is done, everything's painted, things can start to go back in. 
for the final time. Uh, a lot of these components have been in and out several times in, uh, you know, just to, to access things after checking fitment and so forth. And so the um, clutch and flywheel will be uh, installed on the motor shaft, uh, the motor put into place, motor mounts, everything all bolted back for the final time, battery racks <clears throat> put in place, the ABS inserts placed inside the racks, and then we can start installing the cells. We're currently bottom balancing the cells and they should be ready uh, before the rest of this so that everything flows as seamlessly as possible. Then, once everything is installed, we can start my favorite part of the, the whole uh, project, and that is the wiring. And we can start doing the wiring, the plumbing, all of that, and uh, start bringing this thing to a conclusion. So that's an update on the project. Uh, hope you'll continue to follow us. Um, we hope you enjoy our videos and we hope you'll join us next time. And until then, I hope you enjoy the drive.